Hey everybody, Evan Parker with Moab TV. In our last episode, I showed you how to download and install a color profile. Today, we're gonna to use that profile and make a great print. I'm gonna show you how to print from Apple's iPhoto, Adobe Photoshop, and Photoshop Elements. My demonstrations are gonna be on the Mac, but the process in Windows is the same. So today we'll start out printing in iPhoto. I have my picture here selected and ready for print. So I go up to the File menu, select Print, and I see the standard iPhoto print screen. In here, I select my printer. Today I'm using the Epson 3800. My paper size, I'll use a standard letter sheet, and I'd like to make an 8x10 print. Once I've made those three selections, click the Print button, and you'll see the standard Mac print window. In order to access the advanced settings, including a printer profile, you need to click this blue box with the black arrow, and then you'll see all the options available. Under the iPhoto pull-down menu, I want to select color matching and click on the color sync button. You'll see a pull-down menu for a profile. If you haven't used a profile yet in iPhoto, likely it won't show up in this list and you'll need to scroll all the way to the bottom and select other profiles. And you'll see all the color profiles available on your computer in alphabetical order. So I'm gonna scroll down to the exhibition luster, which is what I'll be printing on today. Select that and click okay that'll then show up here in my profile list. After I've selected the profile, go back to the color matching menu, scroll down to printer settings, and make sure that under media type, you select the paper that you wanna be printing on, in this case, a luster paper. Under color mode, you wanna turn that off so that the printer uses only the color profile when printing. Under the output resolution, use your preferred setting, and everything's ready, so just click print. Printing from Photoshop Elements is very similar to printing from iPhoto, but with a couple additional steps. I have my picture ready to go, so from the File menu, choose Print. Then, on the right side, first select the printer you'll be using, and the paper size, and also select the print size you'd like to make. Down in the bottom left, click Page Setup, and make sure that the printer and the paper size match the other selections you just made. Click OK. Then click More Options and Color Management, and this is where you'll assign your color profile. Under the Color Handling menu, make sure that Photoshop Elements manages colors. Under the Printer Profile, select the profile you downloaded from the Moab page. Today I'm using Exhibition Luster. And under the Rendering Intent, start out using Relative Color Metric. This will most closely match the colors on the print to the colors on your screen. Once you're comfortable using printer profiles, experiment with the other three and see if you like the results. Now click OK, then click Print, and you'll see the standard Mac print window. Again, we'll need to expand it with the arrow in the box. Under the Layout pull-down menu, select Printer Settings, and again, choose your paper type. Make sure your color mode is off. Now click Print. And finally today, printing from Adobe Photoshop. With your image open, select File, Print, and you see the main Photoshop print window. First, select your printer. Second, click on Print Settings, and make sure you have the correct paper size selected. Then, under the Layout drop-down menu, scroll down to Printer Settings, and pick your paper type. Again, I'm printing on Luster. And under Color Mode, make sure that's set to Off so the printer respects the color profile. Click Save. Then in the right side of the window, under Color Management, you'll see Color Handling, and we wanna make sure that's set to Photoshop Manages Colors. Then under the Printer Profile menu, find your Moab profile. In this case, it's the Exhibition Luster. Make sure your rendering intent is set to relative color metric and check the box for black point compensation. These are all the settings you need. Just click print. Another key part of getting good prints is making sure that you have the right paper type selected in the print driver to match the type of paper you'll be printing on. We've been doing that under printer settings and then media type, which gives you access to all the paper types that come preloaded with your printer. 
But if you're using the Anasazi Canvas or the Colorado Fiber or the new Slick Rock Metallic, those options won't specifically show up in your print driver. On the Profile Downloads page, where you originally went to download your color profile, you'll see a suggested paper setting for each type of Moab paper. For instance, if I will be printing on the Anasazi Canvas, in my print driver, I would choose Enhanced Matte. Or if I'm printing on the Colorado Fiber Sateen, I would choose the Premium Luster setting. This way, for each Moab paper that you're using, you know you'll get the best results by choosing the correct paper type. So there you go. Now you can enjoy the process of printing and see your favorite photo hanging on the wall. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.